Hi, uh, welcome to the next session. So right now I have logged into the AWS uh, console page. So once you go there, you can search with, since I already opened its comes, you can search with Lambda. Click this. So I just, uh, these are the Lambda which I have created already. Uh, so the dashboard looks like this, okay? And uh, you can click create. So once you click create, so you have started from scratch or you already have the existing code. So it will give, it will have the predefined uh, Lambda functions based upon your uh, events. I mean, it will be SQS, SNS or Amazon Kinase like that. Or you can get it from your own repository. So I will usually recommend from the scratch uh okay and you can create uh your own uh function name so uh this will be the function name and this is called the lambda function name okay so i'll say uh make us uh say this to my so let us keep and make like this course one with this my lambda Okay. Okay, and okay, we we'll use only the numbers and hyphens with no space. Okay, so uh, I'm going to use a Python. So I'm making Python as one point three point eight, and it's asking the uh, permissions. So if you already created the permissions, uh, you can use that permissions and you can type it so for example i have created already this lambda font permission so i will just map it and i'll do it okay uh, right now you uh, i'll tell you in next video i'll tell you how to create uh, roles and permissions such that you can map this uh, permission to this lambda functions uh, then only you can able to execute so if you don't you have not created freshly no problem so you have the first options, create a new role with a, a basic Lambda permissions. Okay, or create a new role with a, a policy template. So here also you can create a, a, a role and you have to select the policy, what kind of policy. Uh, a policy defines that in Amazon uh, services, you have uh, different type of services as there, uh, like, S3 bucket, SNS, or cloud formations. These are the services. So you, you can't give the permission to all the services, which is required for that Lambda functions. You have to give uh, permissions, okay? Say for example, I want to give the permission only for S3. So I will map this S3 and I'll give a name, new name for that. So I'll say S3 bucket. Uh, with the lambda, I'm just giving so so that will create a new thing. Okay, so so here I given a lambda function name, and so you have a, a, you can write your lambda functions in a different languages. See here, you have .NET Core, Go language, Java, Node.js. So these are the versions. So I'm using Python 3.8. Uh, so I've selected this, uh, the third option. So you can select the based upon your need. Okay. So now I'm going to create a function. One second. So it takes some time to create. So right now it is created. So in next video, we will see, uh, so right now it is created with uh, some sample code. Okay, uh, just a hello from Lambda. So in next video, I will explain about these other steps. Okay, thank you.